Morning everyone, today is Monday, August 10th at 8 a.m. Gonna do a video watch this today. So before I get started, uh, if you guys don't know, we are hosting our second annual boot camp next Monday. Uh, this event, Val will be trading live in front of everyone. We're gonna walk you through our process, presentations, everything. Uh, currently, we are at 90% capacity. So if you are an annual or lifetime member, you get to attend for free. Uh, if you are a monthly member or a non-member, uh, there's a small ticket fee. Again, we are at 90% capacity, so please reserve your spot before space runs out. It's at myinvestingclub.com slash anniversary, and you can text Tosh uh, for some special discounts on that as well. So let's get started, guys. Um, so what we're always looking for is the low-hanging fruit, right? We're looking at the stocks that people uh, that tanked on Friday that we're looking to short the bounces of today. So KZIA is one, uh, six is kind of too close. I'd be kind of looking for the 650 and seven line in the morning to short this bounce. Uh, OPGN is another one on uh, something like this. I like how a top was kind of formed pre-market. I like the $4 whole number mark. So gonna be watching to short near $4 in the morning. Uh, Kodak is down 50% on news that they're getting investigated. The deal might get taken away. All I know is that this is a really, really, really big break and SSR is on, so this might bounce. So if you're looking to go long, again, this is not a trade for me. Uh, you gotta use 780 or 750 as your ultimate stop out, no matter what, if it breaks that level, you gotta get out. So sizing accordingly, use less size to account for the range. MCRB is easy to borrow and day one, uh, huge, massive, massive gap. Uh, don't really know what the hell it's gonna do. All I know is that it is on the front side of the move. So patiently gonna be waiting until this kind of reveals its cards. Maybe if it goes under 15, we can get a move towards 11. Again, I'm not looking to find the top, not looking to mess around, just patiently waiting on it. And TRVN, uh, again, the top is set pre-market. So I see a pop towards $4 to short this in the morning. Uh, if this kind of breaks down, if this kind of breaks this 365-ish uh, level, uh, I would kind of let it break and then short the bounce if it gets there because there's so much meat on the bone. Uh, other than that, tops is kind of moving, reverse split, uh, not really that interested in it. Again, something that I want to make note of, guys, is that Mondays, I usually have the most FOMO for traders. We're off over the weekend. We're excited to be back to work. And sometimes we trade too big too early on Mondays. So I want to kind of make it my goal to just kind of slow down on Mondays. It sets the tone for the entire week. Also at 11 a.m. market time today, we're announcing our new broker partnership for international users. So we have a really, really, really sick deal coming out for international traders. Uh, it's exclusive only to MIC. So stay tuned and I will see you at the live today at 11.